Hi Semper, today I'm going to show you how to do the window pans. Um, I did a few here, I don't know if you can see uh, most of them. Um, you can put them on cards, it would be nice on a notebook, you can put them anywhere that you want. First thing that you want to do is decide which one you're going to use and then measure the size of it. So this one is one by one and a quarter. Uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to do this one, but they all made the same, it's just different size. So I pre-cut uh, my paper here. I get my thing on a tripod and I'm afraid you, I'm missing. So I pre-cut my uh, cardstock and the stamp set that you, we're going to be using tonight, it's uh, Tiny Tags. We're going to use this flowers, the little uh, flower stem there. I'm going to stamp it with Crumb K. And then I'm going to use my marker. I could use the marker and color everything, but I find this it's fast. It's just two little flower. I'm going to wipe them off. And then I'm going to color them in the pink. And this is my second attempt because the phone was ringing. So I'm going to off on it because I um, let it stand for a bit. I'm going to try to stamp this straight here. Oh, it's off, but you know what? Like I said, I pre-stamped earlier because I was trying to do the video. This one is straight. So voila. You're going to cut a piece of ribbon and you know what, it doesn't matter the length. This one it's about 10 inch because um, it depends how long you want that. But the flat side of your window it's the back here. This one it's kind of scratch a little bit. So the flat side it's the back. You start from the front to the top. So pass your ribbon here and this is the taffeta ribbon and it's the crumb cake one and go in the back so the front to the back so you're going to have the loop like this I'm going to put it about equal so you get this loop can you see that and then you're going to take your image that you stamp and you're going to put it in the back here like this so see your ribbon go back I don't know if you can see this I'm going to stand up so your ribbon going to go around like this and then bring it in the back. Does it make sense? So you go to the front, come back in the back and then you leave it loose and then you just pass your paper here. And then you're going to tie it up. So I don't use no glue there. When you put it on your card or on your project that you want, that's when you're going to use some glue. So now it's secure there. I need this part a little bit longer, so I need to give some here. Here we go. So after you get this done, you're going to take some twine, some linen thread here, and we're going to do a bow. So you can do a bow or you can pass it in a ribbon, uh, not in a ribbon, but in a, I'm going to lift it up a bit, in a button. So if you, you want to do just a bow, tie it up right now. If you want the little button, pass your thread in your ribbon, in your button, something about ribbon tonight, I want to say over and over, and here and then just tie your bow and when you tie it tight tight it tight enough so your uh, your ribbon won't move so I'm going to tie this and here that's where I say tie it good and then pull on your ribbon make sure it's tight in the back here so now that I got that I'm going to do my little bow Voila! And I'm going to trim it a little bit there. I got way too much thread here, but remember it's better to have too much than not enough. 
and then I would tie this this way on the card. This one for the size of the window I think it's too long so I would trim this here. Voila! So now you have it. That's as easy as it is. Look at that. It's very cute. So remember you pass your ribbon to the top come in the back and then pass your paper. That is it. Till next time, happy stamping.